our next topic of discussion is the culture media so the culture media refers to all those substances over which we grow the different microorganisms these culture media may be a solid media or may be a liquid media and they contain all the nutrients uh, which are required for the growth of the microorganisms okay so see here what i have written here is that the culture media is the liquid or solid substance which contains all the nutrients which is required to support the growth of the microorganisms so this is in short the definition of the culture media now first we will see the classification of the culture media so classification of the culture media can be done on the basis of the consistency and also on the basis of the method of the detection of the growth okay of the organism so uh, based on the consistency it can be of three types that is the broad that is liquid culture media semi solid that is jelly like that means neither solid nor liquid and then the solid culture media so these are the three types of culture media that we have okay and next what we have is the based on the method method of the growth detection so the growth of the organisms can be detected by conventional methods like the oxidase catalase test uh, you know the um, different types of tests that we perform so those are all the conventional methods catalase oxidase citrate test indolase test there are different tests so those are called as the conventional methods of growth detection and the other one is the automated method of growth detection that is done by the automated machines so those automated machines are called as the back t back t or alert 3d or back t or alert virtue or the back tech so these are different types of uh, automated machines which are useful in detection of the growth directly from that culture media okay they are provided with the, these uh, machines are provided with specialized some culture media some specialized culture bottles in which we inoculate the specimen and directly put it into that machine and machine directly Uh, tells us about the suspected or the organism that is present in that specimen okay so that is the uh, fully automated method uh, which helps in the detection of the microorganism so, so that is a completely a separate di uh, discussion right now we are more focused on this conventional method of the uh, growth detection so uh, the conventional method of the growth detection can be done only in some of the culture medias and those culture medias are these like the simple media the enriched media the enrichment growth selective media transport media and the differential media so these are all the medias over which we can perform the conventional tests and uh, can detect the different organisms okay now we will see these different types of media one by one so first of all talking about the simple media so simple media is a simple media is a media that is containing minimum ingredients which is required to support the growth of a non fastidious bacteria this is a very important line non fastidious bacteria okay non fastidious means uh, a bacteria which is not requiring some specialized substances okay so those are called as the non fastidious bacteria the examples of the simple media are the pepton water then pepton means pepton water means uh, some uh, pepton digested proteins animal proteins okay so if uh, if we keep the pepton uh, if we keep keep the pepsin enzyme and the some animal proteins that the digested product that will be formed as the uh, will be called as the pepton water okay so that is a simplified form uh, or the simplified uh, simple media okay for the organisms then we have the pepton water plus meat extract that forms the nutrient broth and then also we have the pepton water plus meat extract and when we add the agar 2% then it forms the nutrient agar this is a very important and a very commonly used media culture media in the microbiological labs okay so this nutrient agar is a very important media you should know the constituents of the nutrient agar that is the pepton water the meat extract and the agar 2% these are the constituents of the nutrient agar and these are all the simple media simple media means a media which is containing minimum amount of nutrients uh, or ingredients which is required to support or sustain the growth of a particular organism okay that is our simple media next we will see the uses of the simple media 
so the uses of the simple median the number one use is that it is used for preparation of the other different types of medias that is the first and the foremost importance or the use of the simple media the second use is that it is used for the testing of the non fastidious organisms okay if some organism is not able to grow over this simple media that means it is a fastidious organism it require it is requiring something else for which it is not able to grow and that basic simple media okay so it is used for testing the non fastidious organisms and then the third use is that it is used for studying the bacterial growth curve so bacterial growth curve i talked about this in the physiology of the bacteria that is a very important topic from university exam point of view so you must read over that okay and the number four for number four use is that it can be used for the pigment demonstration like the staph aureus bacteria produces a yellow colored pigment produces a yellow colored pigment and this is very easily or we can be very easily demonstrated over that nutrient agar which is nothing but a simple media so these are all the different uses of the simple media may be asked in your vivas or in the practical exams the next media that we are going to learn is the enriched media so what is the meaning of this enriched media the meaning of the enriched media is that a media which is formed by adding nutrients like the blood serum into a basal or the simple media so we have learned about the simple media okay we have learned about the simple media so in the simple media if we are adding either blood so in the simple media if either we are adding blood or serum okay so if we are adding either blood or serum that will make it a enriched media that will make it a enriched media so the simple media plus blood or serum is making it a enriched media so what is the importance of that enriched media so importance is that it supports the growth of the both fastidious and the non fastidious bacteria i have talked about the non fastidious organisms uh, in the simple media that the simple media favors only the growth of the non fastidious organisms okay and once we add the blood and the serum that means it becomes uh, some uh, it uh, it contains some extra nutrients that means it will uh, provide the growth uh, i mean provide the uh, nutrients for the fastidious organisms also fastidious organisms means those organisms which are requiring blood or the serum uh, in excess to the simple media okay or along with the simple media so those are the fastidious organisms so as here we are seeing that the blood and the serum is being added to the basal or the simple media that means it is getting uh, available i mean it is getting uh, prepared for both the fastidious plus the non fastidious bacteria okay that means in this media can be used for the growth of the fastidious plus non fastidious both the examples of the fast, uh, in this media are that of the blood agar so first example is the blood agar in which we take 5 ml of the sip blood and 95 ml of the molten nutrient agar at 45 degree centigrade okay so when we add these two things when we add these two things then it becomes the blood agar it becomes blood agar remember the temperature that is 45 degree centigrade and remember the amount so 5 ml of sip blood and 95 ml of molten nutrient agar and this is also the most widely used media like the nutrient agar then we have the chocolate agar so how do we prepare this chocolate agar chocolate agar is prepared by 5 ml of sip blood and 95 ml of nutrient agar at 70 to 75% so uh, as we are keeping it at 70 to 75 degree centigrade so when we are adding 5 ml of sip blood the rbcs of the sip are getting lysed and that is responsible for uh, for formation of the chocolate color of the chocolate agar media okay so that's the reason behind that chocolate color in the chocolate agar media okay so this chocolate agar is used for the highly fastidious organisms like the hemophilus influenza like the hemophilus influenza then we have also some other enriched media like the loeffler's serum slope so loeffler serum slope as the name suggests it contains serum okay and this is used for the corin bacterium diphtheri so you should remember these names these three names these are the uh, uh, three types of enriched media you may be asked in the 
vivas as well so this is all about the first part of the culture media the next uh, i mean the other type of the culture medias will be discussed in the second and the third part of the culture media